not many people realise how close we came to being invaded back in 1940. Allied commands knew how hard Hitler would try to invade, no matter how successful he would be. So a set of fortifications were established across the country. These coastal defences were supported by stoplights. These would defend London, Bristol, and a corridor between the two, allowing the escape of civilians, the government, even the royal family, all fleeing to the deep water port of Bristol. This final line of defence was called Stopline Green. It followed the natural valleys and meandering rivers of the area, and would defend against the full force of the Wehrmacht, with deep anti-tank ditches, complex trench formations, and even bridges that could be blown up. Out of all of the 170 or so pillboxes and defensive structures that surrounded this area, we'll be focusing on one. A Type 24 pillbox, located just outside Hinton Charged House, about four miles outside of Bath. It would have defended the A36, one of the main roads into Bath at the time. This would have been one of the points where the Wehrmacht would have wanted to get through, this particular area is full of valleys, and this is one of the only plateaus where tanks could have got through. An anti-tank ditch runs through the forest, known as Hogs Wood. It also has a set of pillboxes, trench works, and foxholes, all defending this one road. Our particular pillbox is located where the red target is. Although extraordinarily impressive, it would have had to defend against a pretty well-equipped army. Hitler wanted to send over some pretty heavy weaponry. The Pac-36, for instance, was able to penetrate the armour of every single tank in the British Army in 1940. The Panzer Mark II and Mark III were also planned to be part of the invasion force. The pictures on the left-hand side illustrate some of the weapons that would have been part of the invasion force. Against all this modern weaponry, the Home Guard would have been in their small, brick-built, and occasionally concrete-reinforced pillboxes, defending with, if they were lucky, boys' anti-tank rifles designed to penetrate some tank armour, or the Bren machine gun, or even the Vickers machine gun used in World War I. All the other heavy weaponry would have been at the coast, and if it got to this point, there'd be very little left for the Home Guard to use. Even if this had been the case, according to Dr. Philip Rowe in his 2005 assessment of this line, even with this limited access to weaponry, it would have been enough to face off the Nazi invasion. These pillboxes lie scattered around the landscape, most still survive, but most are ignored. Some people may not even realise that they're there. But they should serve as a reminder of how close we came to being, like France, like Denmark, like Holland. We could easily have been occupied. These largely forgotten monuments would have been our last line of defence. <laughs>